Okay, here we are back to uh, some more uh, trig identities. And these are the actually, uh, these are the important ones, I think, because the, this is what you're gonna try and um, do if you if you move on the calculus after this class, uh, you're, you're gonna wanna be good at doing what we're about to do right now. So what we're about to do right now is we, we wanna make uh, this um, cosine theta times cotangent theta plus sine theta equal to cosecant theta, okay? Normally we're trying to run away from cosecant, cotangent, stuff like that, but now uh, we, we actually, we, we, we want to get there, and um, you'll see why in calculus. So let's, um, I'm just going to rewrite this over here. I'm going to write, I'm going to go cosine theta times cosine theta over sine theta. Remember, that's just what cotangent is, the very definition of it, and that's sine theta, okay? And it looks like if I um, multiply out everything, I end up with this, okay? Put my equal sign there. Now what I want to do is I need, I, anytime I run into like a fraction plus a uh, kind of like a whole number, um, I want to get a common denominator. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, okay? And that ends up leaving me with cosine squared theta over sine squared, or sine theta, plus sine squared over sine squared. Now I can, I can rewrite these, can't I? I, I, can com, I can write these as a combined fraction now that I've got my common D. So that's cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta over sine theta, okay? Now remember from uh, Pythagoras and the Pythagorean identity that this whole thing right here is worth one, isn't it? Okay, so what do we end up with? Now we got one over sine theta, which one over sine theta we know is equal to cosecant theta. And that's what we wanted to get to. Um, in calculus, there are some pretty handy um, little tricks that can get you through um, some of the problems, but you end up having to go back to cosecants and, and, and all those ugly functions. So that's just what we did right there, okay? So let me see if I can't pull another one out of, uh, out of the hat real quick. Secant theta minus cosine theta Okay, how about this one? How about this one? I haven't even worked this out, so you know I might I might run into a snag as well. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rewrite this as cosine, okay? Okay, and um, looks like right off the bat, we've got one of these common denominator things. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by cos cosine theta, and that's going to leave me with Okay, so there I am right there. Remember I just multiplied, when I got my common denominator, I ended up with cosine squared theta. Now it looks like over here, yeah, we could cancel all three of these denominators out, um, but we want our answer to look like uh, this one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and combine this fraction down here. Just like that, and we already know from the back to that Pythagorean identity. I told you. I mean, this is like the second time we've used it already. You know how powerful it is that this is equal to sine squared theta. So there we go. We got our answer. Uh, you know, we got everything going. So 
Um, I'm going to do a couple more uh, after this, alright? See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.